Hi, welcome back to Styling with Will. Today we're gonna to talk about accessories. It's the finishing touches and details that every man should have. I'm gonna list a few that I think are essential, that are vital to every man's wardrobe. I'm gonna go from head to toe with these. I'm gonna go from your hat to your scarf, eyewear, to your tie, to your tie bar, to your cuff link, to your belt, your watch, your wallet, to your socks. These are simple enhancements that can really give you a polished look. So let's talk about it. William Phoenix, celebrity stylist. Let's start with hats. Your classic fedora is more of a dressier hat that you would wear like with a, a coat or a suit. Guys are really starting to wear hats again and I like that look for a lot of guys. Another hat was gonna be your beanie, kind of skull cap hat, sweater, knit hat. It is a fashion, at the same time it's a necessity for keeping your head warm. Some guys need it because they're bald and they want their head to be warm. I mean, you live in a cold weather state. And last but not least is the baseball cap and the baseball style cap. Baseball caps come in that same style, but you can get them in an upscale fabric such as cashmere. I'm not talking about your team cap. That is a different look that you can do also, but that's more of your sporty t-shirt, jean kind of look. I'm talking about your baseball athleisure wear kind of cap that you can wear and uh, achieve a different kind of look when going out. So that's gonna do it for hats today. So let's talk about eyewear. Eyewear comes in many shapes. Let's talk about the different shapes. You got the aviator style, you got the round, you got the rectangular, and you got the sport kind of wrap around. Guys, 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 that's for playing golf out there. That's one of my don'ts I'm gonna talk about. Also, I didn't mention the Wayfair. That's that classic Ray-Ban look that everybody can pull off, but you gotta make sure you get the right size. I would suggest going somewhere and get professionally fitted for your hour. That way you can get the right arm on your glasses, the right width of the glasses. You don't want your glasses to bow out. You wanna make sure you got the right distance from your cheek up to your eyebrow. Fit, fit, fit. I'm gonna talk about fit throughout this. Your shoes, your suits, your shirts, everything requires the proper fit for it even look right. I don't care how much it costs, as long as it fits you well, you wear it well. The lenses, you know, you can get gradient lenses where they're gonna go from light to dark. You can get colored lenses. You can get lenses that are just completely black. You can get mirrored lenses. All these looks go in different arenas to what you're doing and where you're going. So invest into a good pair of sunglasses. I mean, if you can just get one, get one. Make sure it's a good one that can complement a nice upscale look, a dress look, because uh, when you have a suit on, you still wanna put your sunglasses on. But guys who wear glasses, you know, you can get contacts and get your nice pair of sunglasses to kind of complement that look without getting your glasses or clips on them. But you have transitional lenses, which you can get in your sunglasses too. If you like wearing your sunglasses in indoors, they'll lighten them as you go inside. Eyeglasses, not sunglasses, your eyeglasses can be done where they become a sunglass when you get outside or when you're driving. So that's the kind of one of those tips that you kind of want to do if you're into eyewear. So sunglasses, even when they look good, they do help with protecting your eyes. Get yourself some good eyewear. Let's talk about scarves for a little bit. Scarves come in silk, cotton, cashmere, wool, merino wool, just a plethora of different fabrication depending on what your scarf is for. They come in different lengths. You have formal scarves, scarves that are exclusive for the winner and some that are just a, an accessory. The scarf should be a part of your layered look which brings on a different look that you're trying to achieve. That's why it could be thin, cotton, silk, or it can be heavy to give you some warmth around your neck. I just think that scarf should always be with a vest, a puffer vest, or just a vest in general that you put on top of a sweater or a sweatshirt or something like that, or with a suit or with a coat. Don't wear scarves with short sleeve shirts. They don't go together. Mm. It's like flip flops and fur coats. I mean, why would you do that? A lightweight scarf with a denim jacket kind of gives you that I'm outside look, I'm going out to dinner, I'm going to a movie, and add a little bit of warmth without overdoing it. You have your dress scarves and you have your casual scarves to be worn with jeans. Your dressier scarves are gonna be more for like your coats and your suits that can be made of silk, cashmere, and you have a formal scarf that you wear with just tuxedos. Some scarves are 
big where you have to kind of squeeze them together to kind of manipulate the look on them. Some scarves are long, you put around your neck and just hang that long, but that's a no-no. Mm. Never just put a scarf around your neck and just let it hang. Always tie it some kind of way, twist it together, loop it through or something to achieve the right look for the scarf. And the former scarves won't be that long. They're gonna be made of satin or silk, but they're just real formal to be worn with tuxedos if you're in that lifestyle. Check me out on the next episode when we talk about more accessories and what's essential to your wardrobe. Be sure to check out Styling with Will right here on my YouTube channel. It'll be worth it. You should hang out with it. I do. Look what he got on. Where you find that at? <laughs>